Tipster is one of the most hated YouTubers in the commentary community. From being unfaithful to his wife, I, I love my wife. I would never ever cheat on my- To making friends with some of the worst people in the community. But what got him to this point? How did he get so hated in the first place? To answer this, we'll have to go back to the beginning of Tippy's career. Tipster started his YouTube journey in 2006 under the name Your Geeky Tipster or Gamer Geek Review. This channel was pretty low quality, but was sufficient enough for the time around 2017. Tippy covered gaming related news, tech reviews, and even a couple videos on some lol cows like Boogie2988 and Darkside Phil. Tipster wouldn't gain much success until he got a raid from E Girl Zoe Burger, a YouTuber that has completely fallen off since her 1 million subscriber special video. Yes. Three. Uh, Two, one, everyone go um, click the link in the description, go say Zoe Raid, we're bringing some, some hype, let's go say hi to him. Uh, He's this initial shout out helped Tipster to gain a decent audience, give him his first start on YouTube. He also around this time broke into the commentary community on Augie RFC stream, and also befriended people like Tommy C, who's been around in the community for years. So his friendship with Tommy C seemingly came to an end, when he would have a beef with him on Twitter, supposedly liking tweets calling him a uncle that tongue while they're asleep, and other tweets alike. Tipster would move on from this feud with Tommy C and cover the Susie Liu situation in 2020. Susie Liu is a YouTuber who quite literally added nothing to her content and just sat there and basically watched anime. A feeble old lady with these heavy bags asked me for direct a lie, at least make up a good one. <laughs> but the bad thing about the situation besides her content was that she was caught copyright striking people for using clips of her to criticize her. Tipster was actually one of the first people to cover Suzy Lou before a lot of the other big commentary channels like Optimus, John Swan, and Boblax. Tipster gaining thousands of views off this milked it to death with over 40 videos on Suzy Lou. Why he literally covered every single aspect aspect about this whole situation, even bringing in a lawyer to ask if she was in the right in the situation. Eventually the Susie Lou saga would heat up, with Tipster getting striked himself by Susie Lou. In light of this, the before mentioned creators came out and helped Tipster in this situation. At the end of this drama, everybody liked Tipster for the most part, and things were looking up for him. That was, until it wasn't. And what we're about to get into would start to complete an utter downward spiral for Tipster and his career. But before we get into this, if you enjoy the video, maybe subscribe. Also check down everybody linked below, they make some pretty good content. And without further ado, let's get into Commentary Crusade of Tipster. Tips are shown this continuous pattern of having old man on the internet syndrome, also known as being on main, he has proclaimed himself Lord of the Goth Mommies. My personal favorite tweet of his was between Tipster and another creator. Thank God I'm a lesbian. Good luck, ladies. Why do all the hot ones not like? Hashtag feels bad, man. He's had a lot more statements on his Twitter that should probably place him on some kind of list. And y'all thought Twitch was bad. You're not an e girl. You're an e. You're my e. He's a lucky man. He got himself the one and only goth mommy. These messages have almost gotten him in some like hot water too, dude. Nice. Looks great. Also, your friend is kind of cute. Hey, yo, she's 16. Oof. <laughs> not only does he not think before he speaks, but he also doesn't think before he posts. Here he is reposting an Amaranth video one minute after it was posted. Bro had those notifications on and ready to go, dude. The tweets get even more wild when you realize this guy has a whole wife. So go ahead and grab one. And I'll get one. Oh. She snuck another one. I said one. And he still acts like a whole teen with zero social awareness. Maybe in his old age, he forgot he had a piece under that yoga ball of a stomach he's got. Tister is so sick. This person is just spitting facts. I can't help it, but it's true. <laughs> Not even mentioning the tip. Would you look at that? It looks like Hannah Animal is asking to come along too. Guess she really does want the Look, Hannah, let's hit this straight right now, all right? I didn't say I was going to give you, nor that I wanted to give you, okay? I said you wanted the t The only person that's getting this t is my wife. Ain't that right, babe? Yep. Exactly. See, this ain't your the dude has zero self-control. If I were his wife, I would be genuinely embarrassed. I would be ashamed. Like, I, I could not go on. But it's okay. He's got... Finboy. 
This is Tipster getting caught in broad daylight liking uh, some Finboy's thirst trap. Good afternoon, everyone. What is the first thing you would do to me if I had strapped down to a bed? This actually started a tad bit of drama. Bo Blacks retweets it and calls out Tipster. Tipster, you have a wife. Why are you liking posts from other people? The person responds and says, hey, Is there any reason you're stealing pictures of me to attack another YouTuber? If you're going to use me, at least retweet my GoFundMe. Okay, buddy. If he were to do that, he would be promoting the literal across your account right now not only furry no no no, no. yourself tipster follows this account by the way after the furry i came across this tweet right here i'm pretty sure it's milk prove it drink it bro i'm sure you could produce your own milk if you wanted stop trying to steal stuff from others it's kind of wild the amount of support he's lost on twitter dude even the like parody accounts are speaking out about it here's a screenshot from live chat he says jokes on you i'm into golden showers even i gotta disavow the shit tipster's saying and i'm a parody account holy f that parody twitter account actually like hates him now dude all right i know i troll and parody tipster on here but i gotta go ooc for a minute about this recent bullshit that fat boy has gotten himself into. The shit your new friends are doing is f***ed up and brigading communities into mass flagging people just for criticizing someone. And if you're okay with that in any way, tipster, then you're just as much as a piece of shit. I mean, we already knew you were, but even more so after this. I absolutely will not feel any remorse for you when the people you grift now inevitably turn on you. Because you absolutely deserve every bit of it. And after it happens, I hope every community sees you for the slimy, scummy person you are and blackballs you from then on. You deserve no platform with the shady shit you've done. I'm ashamed to admit it, but after him blocking me and after this video, I think it's safe to say I won't be getting the- <laughs> Anyways, that's my time. I'm CB2. I love you, Tubby. Aw, you're such a good boy. Uh, she, she cleans up like a shiny new- Is that wrong for me to say? She's a good looking gal. <laughs> Throughout Tipster's harem of e one stands tall amongst the rest, and her name is AP over 9K, also known as AP over for her crippling addiction to alcohol. And just like that, poof, Lola's gone. Wrong. Lola's right here, you fucking Brussels sprout. My dad had an addiction, uh, which is funny because I always said that I would never fall into the trap that my dad did, and then I got an Cheers, my dude. Love ya. No homo. So as you could see, Tipster and AP had a lot in common, and because of these similarities, they both became quick friends, actually finding each other over TikTok. Yeah, did you drink my Mountain Dew? Did you drink my Mountain Dew? Let me smell your breath. Let me smell your breath! She started to appear on multiple of Tipster's streams and became a reoccurring guest. But on one unfortunate day, while on his stream, her DoorDash order from Taco Bell got cancelled by the driver. So she responded in any normal way anyone would in that situation, where she called the DoorDash driver the N-word. To be nice, like, oh, my mom's hot. Like, I don't yes. think that's weird. Wait, did you what? say that f***ing Edward? Okay, okay, okay. 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 Yeah, this you gotta... This is not Sorry. weird at all. Okay, AP. yeah, Bro, that's see, not... This is okay. what that's not about. okay. Well, that's why Let's she got that. removed from the call, because that's not no, okay. No, but obviously after this, people rightfully made fun of this bitch, with Bo Black's fellow commentary YouTuber doing a whole stream talking about the situation. And AP, of course, got wind of this, because if you're spending your time talking to Tipster in the DMs and on a Discord call, you probably don't have much to do all day. So while drunk out of her mind, she decides to hop on Bo Black's stream in attempts to defend herself, which went very well for her. Let's get serious oh, again, though. Let's get What's serious What's going again. on? Uh, uh... Let's get super serial, guys. Okay. Are you good? Do you... Are you drunk? Do you have a little too much red wine? Oh, oh, I'm kicked from the server. Wait, what? The... Wait, what? Wait, did Tipster give her... Tipster deleted the server. Yeah, so the whole thing just became a complete show. I mean, this downed like three bottles of wine before hopping on stream. She was slurring her words. She could barely even talk. And even Tipster noticed how bad of a look this was for AP. So he decided to pull the plug on the whole thing, deleting the whole Discord server that they were holding the call in. But aside from that, Tipster for the most part remained completely silent about this situation while AP was getting relentlessly shit on by the community. And she didn't like that. She didn't like that Tipster was being silent and thought he should have defended her more in this situation. 
What exactly is he supposed to defend her from? Who f knows? This b indefensible. What what is Tipster supposed to say? Oh yeah, um, this girl, you know, she didn't actually mean it when she called her DoorDash driver the N word. Like what the f is he supposed to say? This b drunk. But after this, she goes completely nuclear on Tipster, burning the bridge entirely and leaking all the DMs of him weirdly calling her a hot goth mommy or saying that she looked hot and every time she changed her profile picture. And after everyone rightfully clowned on Tipster for having a wife, yet gets caught simping his ass off, flirting with random 3 out of 10 online, he then puts out a statement claiming it was all jokes and that they were just two friends supporting one another, sharing jokes with one another. Except you were the only one making these weird comments about how hot she is and calling her your goth mommy after telling her multiple times that you have a thing for goth chicks apparently like what's the joke that you're a fat loser simping for this on your knees when she doesn't reciprocate at all and you're the only one complimenting her when she gives no compliments back like i might have believed you if she would have made jokes back too calling you or saying that she has a thing for fat who are obese like then maybe I might have believed you but no it's all one way you freak and plus you have a long history of doing this same thing with multiple other e so I'm calling bullshit it was all just jokes buddy because it would have only it only stayed a joke when it wasn't reciprocated but if she would have reciprocated back you would have tried to that immediately fly her out try to get inside that but no, they're disgusted by you. But overall, at the end of the day, the number one lesson that should have been taken from this is that, hey, you know what? I should probably stop associating with random f***ing Spurgs online because they eventually backstab the f*** out of me and leak my cringy ass DMs of me trying to get inside their f***ing pants. Because as I just said, this is a pattern with Tipster. But no, just a few months later, he decides to rekindle with her and become friends again, bonding over their hatred for this Craig Beckett guy blaming him for the real reason why they fell out she leaked all of your dms and publicly humiliated and embarrassed you and then you take her back just a few months later this guy's an absolute re of course who would have guessed it but a few months later ap would do something even more insane without striking her again she gets into a random Twitter fight with a spurg named spondyle and she got so mad at this guy that she decided to bring her on the mic and get her to call this random guy the n-word as a way to own him say spondyle is a no. do it no do it no spondyle is no. <laughs> if that was the only thing to get my phone back i did it okay 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 you have your phone back if you say spondyle right here spondyle is a that's what i thought <laughs> yeah, call CPS. That's funny, because a lot of people have tried, but it doesn't work, does it? And despite not having anything to do with this situation, Tipster decides to insert himself into the drama, getting into a random fight with another f***ing Spurg named DJ Screwdriver. Where this guy put out some tweets reporting the situation, obviously noting that this was Tipster's friend, because that is quite literally the only reputation in the community that she's associated with tipster but it seems that tipster didn't like that this guy was mentioning that she was tipster's friend and decided to block him over these tweets and then he goes on to give his explanation saying it's dumb that i'm expected to respond to the allegations that have all to do with me i'm not their handler which is true i i agree tipster you should stay the f away from this and walk away from your computer but if you really believe this why did you hop into a random twitter space with a bunch of under a thousand follower twitter tards to go and argue with them about this situation i i thought this had nothing to do with you why would you self-insert yourself and embarrass yourself with a whole bunch of spurgs yo you want to know why you got blocked why did i get blocked tipster because you're making it like you're, you're trying really hard to associate with me with a situation that i had nothing to do with what the f does this have to do with me Yes, and did you I did something stupid, and the whole time you're naming me in your stupid f thread is if I have something to do with it. Hey, Reed, all he did was report the situation and gave context on who this bitch is, because her reputation is quite literally only being your friend and a caller on your streams. And I don't understand why, like, I have to explain the way I feel about it when I'm not the one who did it. I'm not accountable for her actions. Did I say you were? No, but like, what do you think is the point of like, like mentioning me in the thread? Like, what's the point of that? She did something you, stupid that we can all agree is fucking wrong. But what the yeah. do I have to do with that? You're her friends, and that's how people know her. 
so what? So so we're doing guilt by association then? That's fucking that's not that, that, that's not guilt by association. No, that's, that's literally just association. guilt by association. That's You're just association. She's your friend, so you have to explain how you feel about it. No, I, I, I didn't say that. Retarded. You really need to lay off the Bud Light tipster. You're fighting ghosts right now. He never said you're guilty by association with this. I know you're really mad right now because someone's making fun of one of your precious East. But calm down, man, and put the bottle down. I didn't say that, though. I just said she was her friend. So what was the point of mentioning me in it, then? What was the point of to mentioning give, me in the thread for to something give, that she did? To give context of who she is. People don't know who she is. Okay, bro. Yeah, I guess so. That's why you got blocked, because this doesn't have anything to do with me, and you really want to make it about me. Enjoy your little 15 uh, seconds of fame, you fucking loser. Tipster, you are a complete fucking moron. And by the way, no one's getting any fame from covering your dead fucking channel. Have fun getting 1k views and losing more and more subs by the day, buddy. Uh, oftentimes what I would do is I would go through, like, you know, a pretty decent sized bottle of high proof liquor, uh, you know, every two days. Oh boy, it looks like it's time to make some enemies here. Eh, I'll just go up a flight of stairs, I'll be fine. So it's obviously no secret that Tipster likes himself some good e-girls. He even calls most of them his goth mommies. And shoving past a glaringly obvious problem with calling random girls on the internet goth mommies, while you're married, I could go on and on about Tipster's obsession with e-girls, but that's not what I'm here to talk about today. I'm here to talk about the fact that in his endless quest to get some e-coochie, trust me, just give up, bro. You're going to be chasing that dragon forever. But in this quest, he tends to defend these e-girls for anything. You could be trying to have these girls take accountability for mass. And here comes Tipster without fail every time to defend them, probably saying some shit like, oh, well, maybe actually those kids were transphobic and deserve to be unalive. Like, no, it's dumb. You don't have to defend them over everything. But this guy tends to do that a lot. But there was this one time that it absolutely blew up in his face more than it normally does. So Tipster was apparently friends with this e-girl known as Rum, who was facing backlash for liking art on twitter rum did later to claim to not even remember liking the art the truthfulness of which is still up for discussion but tipster was there without fail to defend rum almost like an overweight white knight version of batman tipster immediately took to twitter claiming the art wasn't a child and was just a petite woman and anyone with a brain and more than two brain cells told him he was obviously wrong and it was bo blacks tweeted it's tipster it's a cartoon of a in nothing but a strip of clothing covering the flat chest and crotch had to unfollow rum because her liking it put this disgusting on my timeline and even after rum reiterated the point that she doesn't even remember liking the tweet instead of going with that maybe saying that everyone mindlessly scrolls on twitter and it was maybe a mistake we're just scrolling and accidentally liked it no he doubles down on his original argument on a stream where his arguments were very obviously being repeatedly picked apart i'd like to explain, explain your thought process of some of your tweets you've made about um... uh so my thought process is that like i feel like a lot of the people who are chiming in on this situation don't know about anime and so they're I mean, chiming in from a place of like ignorance I'm, right I'm if you were to yes. actually look at the profile of the person that posted that particular image they have done stylized art of characters that are clearly adults in nature in similar uh art styles it's clearly well, what, stylized do you mean by, what, do you mean, what do you mean by stylized and meaning all the characters are done in the same art style so looking like <laughs> wait, wait, no, I mean no. to you it looks like but like just just because you think something is a kid doesn't mean it's a kid he even went on drama alert to try and make his case and once again it didn't go so well oh. tipster why why do you support uh rum rum is her name right liking that post like how is that not uh whatever well, first of all, what I want to get into is you guys are saying that I'm defending Lottie, and I would never defend Lottie, okay? I don't advocate for But you're defending the girl who liked it. Lottie who for liked liking it. So indirectly, you're defending it, right? But my interpretation is that it's not Lottie, okay? Like, if you, if you if you think it's Lottie, or you think it's, like, weird, then okay, you're welcome to that opinion. I don't think it is. So, what, like, what? this this notion that I'm, like, some Lottie defender or I'm in favor of the existence of 
it's ridiculous. Okay, so you say that you don't like the image, right? So I want to ask you, does that does looking at that image in any way make you feel uncomfortable? Do I think it's like a really creepy, weird looking piece? Sure, but I don't think it's a movie. Okay, so then let me ask you a question. What are the factors that draw you to say that this is a very creepy, weird looking piece? Because we also agree, this is a very weird, creepy looking piece. And the reason why we say that is because it looks like a and then he finally conceded his point on a stream by Xyli Gets Real. Tweet that's connected to that picture in question. Oh, it's a boy. <laughs> Someone get Flamenco in here right no, now. I'm not a mess of you guys. I, I, this I'm is so stupid. Not, Everybody has been on me about this stupid I, person. My name is New God, and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Look how you were born in me right after calling me baby. Hope you would have my son one day, but girl, you're fucking shady. But everything you use to break me is every- Savo Pancakes is or was a YouTuber. From what I know, there's not much I can find. Because I believe he deleted his channel or YouTube deleted it. From what I can find, he was a troll of some kind and eventually got somewhat popular. Or at least popular enough to co-host the Keemstar show. Now besides that, I can't find much on him. But why this person is important concerning Tipster is because there's a situation where- Salva made him look completely This started when Tipster was live streaming, and Tippy told his mods to ban Salvo from his live stream chat. Now at this point this could have all have ended, as cringe as it is. He could have just banned the troll and moved on, but of course, Tipster couldn't handle one person talking bad about him. So Tipster decided to bring him on live stream to have a chat, and what ensued is nothing short of completely re I got, I got a lot to say, Tippy. I got a lot to say. You know, it just I love myself. That is true. Um, I am my biggest fan. Um, I love everything about myself. From the start of this call, we can tell this guy is basically just joking. This guy's trolling. It's just a goof, okay? It's just a laugh. And Tipster could have joked with him and it could have made a bag off of it on his live stream. Like, this guy quite literally said he had no clue what he was talking about at all. But Tippy didn't pick up on this and, well... Commenting on something that you know nothing at all about because you didn't actually watch it. That's what you're telling me. Talk to lyrics and no, I literally did. So you have no that point. Tipster, that's not my point. That's not That my was point. literally your point from the start on your stupid tweet so if you don't have that point make a legitimate point right now otherwise you look like a moron i had you on my stream i had you on my stream and made you look like a you're on my show mother my whole point of bringing you on is to show everyone how much of a idiot you are to give a little bit of context to this clip lyrics jokingly quote tweeted a fake dms about tipster and you can obviously tell that they're faked i mean it literally says love tippy but who knows with the goth mommy past that could have been real but salvo not knowing anything about this well anything concerning tippy pretty much anyways brought it up in front of me in dms then i'm gonna give a legal action you clearly can't you fell for a fake tipster account this is what i'm talking about this self Stupid you are! You fell for a fake tipster account! You're a f joke and nobody believes anything that comes out of your f mouth because you literally fell for a fake tipster account! You f loser! Suck my Get the f out of here! What a f idiot! So tipster could have been fine here, you know, kick a guy that trolled you yet again and didn't know what he was talking about. Fair is fair, but no. Tipster brings him back into the call. Tipster, I'm worried about you. I don't want to be, you know, charged with you having a heart attack on stream right Just now. Just shut your mouth and show me the proof that you claim tipster. to have that I tipster. DM'd lyrics threatening him illegally. Take Where's the proof? Where's tipster. the uh, proof? I want to be an accessory to murder. The receipts. Let's in the end he looks pretty horrible and like most of the stuff mentioned in this video probably all could have been avoided do you hear that yeah i don't know i've been hearing that ever since i asked tipster to like get an interview on his discord server so yeah you know what screw it, dude let's go check it out i've been scared to check it out let's go check it out dude what the f is tipster doing outside my window what the f this person i, I can't deny it what how can you suck off Ethan anymore? Keep it a buck, guys. I don't know really where to start this. Um, you know that tipster guy? F that dude. Seriously. Nah, I'm just playing. But what's up, guys? I'm Ace Needs Sleep, or Ace is Awake, for those who don't know me. I'd like to thank Amos for letting me on the f 
video dude this is gonna be amazing i'm on big daddy amos's channel right now dude this is actually like crazy dude i'm practically famous now but that's besides the point let's cut the okay tipster dude that's what we're talking about right i don't think i've ever seen somebody actively sh on a community that they desperately need to latch on to as much as tipster does dude because no matter how many times i see this guy go to the leftist twitter community he always seems to weasel his way back to his commentary connections dude or like interact with these commentary youtubers like i see this reacting to a video on poncho dude like bro wh why are you doing this i thought you left the community dude we don't even want you here why do you keep weaseling your way back in you yourself don't even want yourself in the commentary community dude like leave bro <coughs> <coughs> sorry i got a little bit in my feelings apologies to daddy tipster i love you like a brother bro i must say nothing has made my day more in the past year than watching that one lyrics video where tipster f threw a tantrum at salvo pancakes i don't understand how somebody can be so f naive to respond in such a serious way to someone who's obviously f trolling bro like i swear at this point you could just pull any 12 year old kid off of a cod lobby and put him in a voice chat with tipster and this dude would mull at him f virtue signaling piece of sh Dude. I'd also like to say that I'm quite frankly sick of seeing people talk about him. Like, as hypocritical as that sounds, as I am currently talking about him on a video where other people are talking about him. At some point, it's like, dude, we know, Tipster f***ed up. Oh my god, dude, Tipster has a bad take on That's crazy. What? Tipster's friends with Keffels now? Dude, that's f***ed up. What? Tipster got paid by an old man in the Outback Steakhouse parking lot? Now that, that would make a good video topic, guys. Keep that one in mind. I should start taking my advice and taking notes dude if everybody copied what i did on youtube it would be a harmonious place dude free of like mr tipster over here honestly dude it boggles my mind how this dude gets this much attention when the top role in his discord server that he gave himself is literally named daddy tipster like who actually like what the bro do, do some people find this funny dude i'm so confused but you know what guys i think we should address the real elephant in the room regarding tipster okay he does like to simp for those gothy girls dude and believe me it's cringe you know i understand where you people are coming from don't get me wrong it is cringe as f like i can sympathize with them okay dude like let's play devil's advocate here for a second real quick i need you to put a scenario in your head okay this is what your wife looks like okay dude f this now i don't want to hear any bullshit about how she's older or whatever the f dude she's probably a very nice woman i'd assume but let's just be brutally honest with ourselves and with you for a second dude just just get closer get closer to the mic dude just listen to me just between you and me i think dipster's wife is a little ugly dude now don't go spreading this around this is gonna be our little secret just between you and me okay okay dude i know i'm gonna be putting shackles for this dude i think there's better looking fish in the sea than tipster's wife dude that being said this guy did get into a committed relationship with her so like you know you you marry mid dude you gotta stick with that your life bro however guys i'm just gonna say this right now i believe that tipster both literally physically and figuratively has big potential to be a big online pimp dude that's right guys i said it this dude can get miles and miles worth of e he just has to play his cards right dude i think we need to take him under our wing guys you know we could give him some, some riz tips dude we, we can help him riz up these Bro. I can recognize when one of my fellow brothers in the arms of commentary is suffering, guys. We need to help him. This is urgent. Which is why, if you've made it this far, I want you to comment free tipster. Two words, okay? Free tipster. We're gonna send him a little message. Let him know everything's okay. And maybe we can even give him some Riz advice, dude. He can Riz up these e and hopefully get out of this whatever he has with his wife, dude. And no, by e I'm not talking about Keffels, trust me, you don't want to tap that. But like, I'm gonna be honest, dude, he could definitely bag one of these goth mommies that he loves to talk about so much, dude. I feel like maybe he's just trying a little too hard. Is that the problem, guys? I don't know, that could be me. Maybe he needs to try more of like an avoidant red pill style of texting girls and maybe he'd get some more p dude. Anyways, I'd like to imagine that's how it works since a lot of these big probably don't have father figures in their life anyways so they're just used to guys ignoring them nah but all jokes aside dude it's like what do you think his wife thinks of this like surely she knows about what tips he's doing online bro and like once his kids are old enough to understand dude what are they gonna think dude like this really makes you ask these questions to yourself am i right look i'm sorry for my part being kind of a dumpster fire dude but like i just need to lay all of this on the table for you guys i'd once again like to thank amos for letting me on to his video and fuck
all over it dude it's been amazing hopefully it links my channels in the description but here they are if they didn't for some reason you should subscribe to them dude they're really cool and uh, i make amazing banger videos dude you should also subscribe to amos and maybe tipster will let you have a chance with his wife dude maybe you'll even whip up the camera adam 22 style <laughs> but yeah dude see ya opinion tipster is an absolute degenerate but i don't believe he's done anything more degenerate than what i'm about to speak about oh i'm depressed i'm gonna take a now when he was actually mental health is something that like shouldn't be taken light maybe some people buy that bull I don't at all try to cover it up by blocking anyone who asked him to address it. How, how is this not completely destroying every credibility you have? Well, this situation included Colton, Colton's ex, Bonnie, and the big fat YouTuber Tipster. Now, Colton was accused of being creepy and pushy in terms of being trapped her under the false pretenses of being platonic friends, and that he faked a attempt with her one night by swallowing a bunch of. Now, Bonnie retracted the first accusation on a doc on the radio stream. I think it's important to say that Colton does have a history with mental health issues, and that it's a bit weird and abrupt to say that it's thing just because you didn't go through with this. Because for whatever reason, circumstantial or not, you didn't go through with this doesn't mean you're thing. You still feel like that. And that's where our BFG, big friendly giant, gets involved, Tipster. Now, Tipster himself was actually feeding Bonnie information, and this all came out on a stream. Am I a bigger influencer that, hey, he's done this in the past, and then he'll, like, tell people that, uh, or, like, he'll harass people when they call for wellness checks? Like, that's... It kind of adds up. And when Colton actually asked Tipster about this, Tipster just lies straight to his face. Are you telling Bonnie that I s***ed her? I don't think it's you, but some woman in the community is claiming on Twitter that I s***ed because a large creator is in her DMs claiming it. I just want to make sure it isn't you. Who is Bonnie? Okay, you're cleared. That Bonnie was a mod in his chat. I literally, two hours after initially confronting him and him denying it, I went into his live chat because he was live at the time, and I saw Bonnie was a mod. He pretended he didn't know who she was, but then you saw that she was a mod the same day. So immediately you caught yeah. him on Now, both. after this, Colton and Tipster would have a bad backwards and forwards in Twitter DMs where Tipster would say some horrific things I'm going to let play out. I kind of agree with her. Not really, but okay. He did. Lol. How did he not? How did he not? How, how is this not completely destroying every credibility you have? So you didn't call me paranoid and pretend like you don't know who she was when you were saying those things about me. You acted as if I was crazy for thinking you did it. Then you admitted it. That's gaslight. Colton says this isn't. Tipster says maybe some people buy that bull. But I don't. Oh, I'm depressed. Let me take a bunch of now. Fuck off with that bullshit, dude. Let me take a bunch of now. Fuck off with that bullshit, dude. They express that they have some serious mental health problems that people need to take that more seriously rather than just brushing it off like oh they're just using mental health to now tipster would then respond in a three hour stream and no the three hour stream wasn't dedicated to it it was just thrown in the middle where he made the worst response ever his mate luke uh used peaches talking about her mental health and said she was you know that's a lot of you guys know i got called out for saying that colton was a super and a lot of you guys don't know about this because I didn't talk about it publicly. I didn't feel the need to talk about it publicly. I'm apologizing to Colton for that. Because I, even if at the time I did believe that he was it was really inappropriate for me to say that, you know, to other people and stuff like that. So I apologize to him. That just wasn't an apology at all. The issue with this situation is really Tipster wasn't held accountable. Not enough people covered this situation, and not enough people know about this situation. He spread false manipulative lies and wasn't really held accountable for it, and he only addressed it in a three-hour stream and didn't even apologize publicly. And he only referenced it because someone brought something up else in stream, which I don't really understand. He didn't even feel the need to do it. If you didn't already believe that Tipster was a complete degenerate and a sick human, then I hope this has convinced you that he needs serious help. Or they express that they have some serious mental health problems that people need to take that shit seriously rather than just brushing it off like oh they're just using mental health to deflect like seriously come on now besides all the dumb stuff tipster has done which by the way we're not done with that i promise but i do want to go over his friendship circle consisting of mainly kefels and natty foresight i already covered natty foresight so i'm not going to be rehashing it in this video but before we move on let's answer the question of who is kefels <laughs> Kef 
Raffles, also known as Clara Sorrenti, was born on the 25th of March 1994 in the great country of Canada. Keffel's career solely revolves around trans LGBT topics, especially pushing left ideologies, which makes Keffel's fit in very well with Tipster's little friend group. Also, I just want to say thank you, Amos, for letting me on the channel. My segment of the video will be covering Keffel's allegations revolving the Catboy Ranch, which is a Femboy Fairy Twitter account and a Discord server to fit the eyes of certain bad people. Allegedly, of course. This all started when Keffels was getting doxxed and harassed on Kiwi Farms. FYI, Kiwi Farms is a forum website similar to 4chan or Reddit. In fact, Kiwi Farms are actually in a lawsuit with Keffels until this day. Keffels has been in numerous controversies in the past, one of them being unveiled in the Kiwi Farms docs. Also, no private information about this incident was leaked. However, it found a not safe for work Discord server that Keffels was running at the time under the name Cap Boy Ranch. This wasn't the first time Keffels ran the server, as in 2021, Keffels would admit to running the Discord server, but later on in that month, she would have to shut the server down after all of the harassment from right wing groups. Fans of the political streamer Destiny doxed Keffels after claiming they were in her Discord server because of the use of the word femboy, with the claim that one of the particular accounts was a 16 year old. Keffels used to run this Catboy Ranch account on Twitter, which is something that Keffels has been open about in the past. Keffels also ran a Discord server called Catboy Ranch that would comfortably sit a couple hundred members. The server was already showing its red flags, as the artwork for the server was very considering my were in the server and was pretty much pushing this desires or fantasies or something. On Twitter, the account would mainly just post femboy, catboy type content, not really the kind of content any sane person would be looking at. The account would also go on to post some insane things, such as this thread which was giving off really weird vibes, and even and hitting on a m which was later on proven correct that it was an actual that Keffels was hitting on. On June 21st, 2021, Keffels under the Catboy Ranch Twitter account would go on to post their opinions on comparing it to the likes of C and getting some troll replies and some people supporting to make Keffels mad. But unexpectedly, two days later on the 23rd of June, this Twitter post was shared, exposing a different femboy server that was letting underage talk sex and doing nothing about it. Later on, it was found that the Catboy Ranch Discord account was in that same server, and because of this, Keffels had to give a statement on the whole situation. After Keffels made a statement on the situation, they would go on to tweet at the people who were supporting basically saying keep the hateful ideology coming so that Keffels can just block them all, and would celebrate in another tweet when one of the pedal got banned off the site. A lot of people would go into troll Keffels about both of these situations, but after that whole situation happening with that other Discord server, Keffels would go into Twitter to say this, basically making the situation about herself, saying that people only bring this up to get hate on her and to try cancel her, which just isn't really the case at all. Keffels would also go on to say that people only attack her because she is blamed for something through association, which could be a good point if Keffels wasn't trying to hide information about it. She would also claim that she was inactive in the Femboy server after making a couple shit posts in the server. There was also allegations that they were producing and selling dog collars that had Catboy Ranch printed on them, and there was speculation that someone bought the collar as a but this was later disproved and just to be speculation, as the three people who ordered it weren't So yeah, fair enough the Keffels, but the allegations are bullshit. And it's always nice to be able to say that instead of everything being drama filled. But I'm sure Keffels has some other skeletons in her closet that will be unveiled in the future. But like I said before, thank you Amos for having me on. If you boys could sub up to the Omos channel, that would be highly appreciated. And don't forget to like this video. Hey, I'm Pirate and I'm going to be covering the next segment of this video. While even today, a lot of the content relates to politics, what is quite surprising is that Keffels had ran for multiple elections. However, her political beliefs are the polar opposite of what you see today. So let's look at her political journey as a candidate. To start off, we need to understand why she even wanted to involve herself in this. In an online news article, Keffels explained that she entered Canadian politics following the 2016 election which took place in the United States, 
as this was won by Donald Trump, as this acted like a push and made her want to do what she felt was best for the country. But if you're thinking that she would take part in the Democratic Party, given her beliefs today, you would be completely wrong. As surprisingly, at the time she was a member and representative of the Party of Canada. And as a member of the Party, she would take part in two separate elections. Firstly, she would do one in 2018 called the Ontario General Election. And then she would do another one the following year, known as the Canadian Federal Election. However, despite her efforts, she would lose both races quite badly, as she only received 128 votes in the first one and 127 in the second election. And after losing, Keffels would put out a statement explaining that winning wasn't even her goal. As she said, I never expected to do well in the races. I was only doing it for political experience. I think if you can knock on 100 doors and say you're part of the party, you can probably be a good advocate for a lot less contentious issues. But in my opinion, I feel that it is debatable whether she actually feels this way or she just said it as a cover up or excuse having lost for her party. And finally, she would take a complete 180 by distancing herself from the party and instead becoming a socialist. However, I don't believe that we can just brush over the fact that they ran for as it is nothing light. Firstly, it is literally the system known for taking away the public's freedoms and rights, ending private ownership of property and free market competition. And overall, it's done through excessive control rather than freedom, which obviously leads to a lower quality of life, as can be seen by the various countries which have followed this in the past. So while today many either don't know that she was affiliated with the party or have forgiven her for this, I feel it's quite ironic that someone who is advocating for ending oppression today was actually working for the party which literally promotes it just a few years back. That's it for a political run and I hope you enjoyed my section. I upload documentary videos on my channel so I'd really appreciate if you could check it out after this video. So now let's move on to the next part. So besides the two before mentioned parts, Kevl has done other stuff that's probably has tons of skeletons in her closet that I'm not going to get into for the sake of time, but you basically kind of know the gist of what a lot of people bring up when they talk about how they dislike Kefels. But how does Tipster play into Kefels? Well, since he's pretty much not liked by anybody in the commentary scene and pretty much everybody has clowned on him, he's seemingly left it and, and moved to the leftist side of YouTube. And he's even started to hang out with people like the before mentioned Kefels and her band of DJs. But for some reason, he likes to dip his toes back in every once in a while. Hey, what's up, guys? It's ISR180, and I just want to give a special thanks to Amos for having me on this. I really appreciate the opportunity. Alright, without further ado, let's just hop right into it. Ah, uh, yes, Tipster. Seems to be everyone's favorite commentary channel right now. So for you to fully understand this, I have to take you far back, all the way back to the beginning. So I realize I haven't made a video in a while, so I go to look to see what are some good topics to cover. And to my surprise, I saw a person by the name of Tipster trending on Twitter. So I decided to look into it and I thought everything was pretty interesting that it was worth going over. So I look at all the things people were talking about, try to have it one collective video, and just talk about it all in one area. So I posted this video just to see how it would do, and honestly, it did pretty well. So I just kind of thought, hey, the video did pretty well, let's go move on to the next project. While I was in the middle of doing that, I went to go check on Twitter again. To my surprise, I saw a tweet from Boblax. Now, Boblax was asking why someone sent them a clip of Keffels basically saying she's a cuck. One thing I noticed about this clip, though, is that I actually saw my still in that clip. So I went to go search for it. It wasn't on YouTube, but it was on Twitch. And that's where I got to see their reactions starting an hour and 38 minutes in a stream called Debating the Quartering. Now, watching them watch my video was kind of interesting to see, but there was just a lot of things that they didn't understand, which just just made it really painful and annoying. Tipster thought I took his joke seriously. Dude, <laughs> what is the context? So, at me for that. so it was literally a bit between me and my wife. We thought it would be funny. Even like the part where she hits me, it's a bit. But like so many people got mad at me for that because they said <laughs> I was being disrespectful to my wife. <laughs> Why are you she so said, like she was in on the bit? You guys are so dumb. Keffels thought I was a huge Keemstar fan. Do any of these people have long-term relationships? I just get- I, I get the feeling they don't, but also they all defend Keemstar, who is like sus as hell when it comes to his relationships. I don't even understand. She also assumed that I was into politics on my channel. Okay. Are you, are you ready for uh, I am ready. politics I am ball ready. guy? I know the- I know- yeah. I know you don't get that. It, it was- 
or you do. I also had a part in my video where I talked about that he was hypocritical. He clearly contradicted himself with the screenshot and two clips. However, he ignored the screenshot and saw these two clips and were like, these two clips do not contradict each other. And I'm like, that's the point. The two clips contradict the screenshot. How you miss that is beyond me. And Keffels obviously agreed with him because she's on his side. I feel like these two agree with each other even if they know the other one's wrong. Because there's no way that they both did not see that. However, this clip kind of contradicts that. Yeah, that went a lot better than I thought it was. Well, because like when, when I first called him in, I DM'd him and I'm like, you need to get on my stream right now because I'm fucking mad, dude. I was really mad that uh, he leaked me something like so. I mean, I just didn't think you would mind about me leaking something you would say publicly maybe anyway. Should've, maybe you should have asked me first. Okay, then that's my bad. I should have asked you first. Okay. okay. It's completely fair to be upset about- I don't the understand DMs. how those clips contradict what <laughs> I, I said. don't either. But anywho, I brought up a really serious thing with Tipster that he was not expecting to see in the video, which made him leave the live stream altogether. Keffels was still streaming a bit afterwards though, but 15 minutes later, she ended up leaving stream because it was still 2 a.m. in the morning. Nice. Sounds like a good time. Yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Alright, peace out. Have a good one. Bye. Yeah, Tipster, I feel bad. Tipster sounded really bummed. And I feel, like, I feel bad. Because I thought it would be funny to bring up, like, some weirdo making a video. And I didn't mean to, like, open old wounds. I really care about Tipster. And I wouldn't have done this if I thought it would hurt Tipster's feelings. So I'm just going to own that. Apparently her watching anti-tipster videos brought a lot of people into the chat to troll them. But after seeing all this, it took me a little bit, but I made a video on all their claims to this. Now, after them watching my video on Twitch, they didn't block me on Twitter at first, which I was kind of surprised of. But then when I made the video about them watching the video, that's when tipster blocked me. He ended up seeing it on Twitter. However, for some reason, he doesn't fully recognize me yet. So now into new territory. I went into his Discord server. I went into the server with a friend of mine. We just chatted in the VC because no one even uses the VC in that server. I mean, he even came into the VC himself and said, it's really rare to see people use it. But him and I talked to each other in a call and he still didn't recognize me. Now this is the part where I invited Samuel to the server and that's when things started to get a little weird. Tipster started talking in a public server with fans in there about him using lube. But what I thought was really interesting is we were all in call and then Tipster came in call again. Now I thought Tipster was going to chillax with us like he did earlier. And I'm saying hi Tipster it's been a little bit and then he said hey. And then even like his mod said hey Tipster and he's like hey. And so far it doesn't sound so good. And then he reads out Samuel's tweet. Now Samuel owned up to it right away. It's like, oh yeah, I said that, but don't worry, I didn't include a link. And then Tipster said, goodbye. And then he was gone. Literally seconds after he did this, he also left call to continue whatever he was doing. But I thought it was interesting because at this point, I made two videos on this guy. I even called him the worst commentary channel and somehow I'm still on his server. And I decided to like test my luck and go a little bit further. So I sent a friend request to him and he accepted. He really did not remember who I was. So this tells me at least one thing. He didn't care who I was. He heard criticism right away and then just blocks whoever gives criticism. But of course, that's been basically the whole situation. I hope you enjoyed my side of the story. My channel is aceholler 180 Please support it whenever you get the chance to. Now more recently, it seems like Tipster just, just can't stop the the whole time Tipster seemingly has been friends with Kevils, he's always said they've been plutonic and just friends. Though there's some more damning evidence I found on Kiwi Farms to suggest otherwise. This is a clip from Kiwi Farms where Tipster is seemingly liking all of Kevils' posts. And yeah, you can say, oh, he's just supporting a friend. But what just happened recently, which I'm gonna get into in a second, makes it seem like he wanted the Kevils' goods for a while. Recently on a Kevils stream when they were reacting to Turkey Tom's diss track on Tipster, which is a full length video on him, which I'm actually actually inspired to make this video but anyways they're on live stream and doing the usual making brain dead points and being completely boring as usual but all was fine until this happened you just stay away from the goth mommies shoot you in the head like hot zombies well you ought to like rob zombie <laughs> trying to give couples that slop top you've done a pretty bad job of giving me that slop toppy tipster i think i think tom kind of owned you there Jeez, I, I, I'll have to step up my game, I guess. I, I ain't got that riz. 
chick. I'm sorry that I don't dress like a goth mommy. I, I, I got the top, I guess. Do I need to put on some black lipstick? What do you want? Yeah, from me? you got you, you you got to go all out with it. You know, I I heard you saying something about like you know dark hair with like red highlights the other day. Like maybe that'll work. Maybe all right, that'll do the job. I'll step on my game. <laughs> in this clip, I hope Huffles is choking, cause if not, holy shit. But you can tell bro is being dead ass, and he seems like he's been wanting to get this off his chest for a fat minute. And honestly, I'm not that surprised. In the past month, I've been planning to make a tipster video. I could see this coming from a mile away, and it baffles me how tipster went and displayed horrible riz and thinks Keffles was going to be like his next goth mommy or something. Giving off huge Pokemon simp vibes, dude, which kind of makes sense when you donate to Amaranth. In the end, Tepster is in all actuality a pathetic loser who probably just needs to leave the internet. I doubt he even gets paid much on YouTube since he gets like max 4,000 views and everyone clowns on him so I don't know why he continues to stay online. And I think if he's not already, Tipster is starting to show signs of a bit of a lol cow. But let me know in the comment section down below if you think Tipster is the next lol cow. Also want to thank everybody that collabed on this video, they will all be linked below. And until next time, it's Benamos. Peace.